We often use checkbox and spin objects when developing Android applications using the Kotlin programming language. In this tutorial video, we will make a simple Android application using checkbox and spin objects. The video consists of two parts. In the first part, we will transfer the project from GitHub to the computer. We will examine the design and coding part of the transferred project in detail. After fully learning how the design and coding parts of the project work in the first part, we will do the project again with you in the second part. After you understand how the project works in the first part, I recommend you to do the project with me again in the second part. If you have any questions let me know in the comments. You can download and develop the source codes of the project in this video from the Turtle Code GitHub account. Before starting the project, you can support us by following the Turtle Code YouTube channel and other social media accounts. We will transfer the project from GitHub account to computer. We can use the version control feature of Android Studio for transfer. Copy the project address from GitHub. In the description of the video, I will share the GitHub address of the project with you. Use the copied address in the version control object in Android Studio. Press the clone button and start the transfer process. The transfer process will be completed shortly. Select Trust Project to complete the transfer process. The transfer process has been completed. Let's start to examine the code and design part of the project in detail. We made the extension settings in the Gradle file in order to access the objects in the design section in the coding section using ID. We defined the options in the spin objects in the project in the string file. We synchronized the day, month and year options with the array structure. We used array structures in the coding part of the main activity. This is the coding part of the main activity. We will examine all the codes in detail soon. Let's take a look at the design part of the main activity first. There are several objects in the design part of the main activity. Let's go to the code part to see all the properties of the objects. In the coding part of the design, identities were specified to access the objects in the design in the coding part created three spin objects indicating year, month and day. In addition, using the keyword entries, spin objects were synchronized with the array structure specified in the string file. Three text objects were created to display the spin options selected by the user on the screen. In the project, two checkboxes indicating the gender of the person were created. After the gender has been selected by the user, Another text object has been created to show the chosen option. Let's start by examining the coding part of the main activity. We indicated that the option is selected in the year object by using the listener function with the ID synchronized to the spin object. We synchronize the year text with the year option. The same process applies to spins containing the moon. The listener function is synchronized with the spin object. The selected month option is synchronized with the corresponding text. The same transaction was made with the spin object containing day options. Its options, which include male and female options, have been synchronized with the listener function. A variable has been created. The variable is synchronized with the text. Run the project and let's see how it works. We often use checkbox and spin objects when developing Android applications using the Kotlin programming language. In this tutorial video, we have reviewed a simple Android application that includes checkbox and spin objects. In the second part of the video, we will do this project with you from the beginning.
If you have any questions let me know in the comments. You can also support us by subscribing to the Turtle Code YouTube channel and other social media accounts.